Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you're going to see a whole nother side of me and it's definitely a childlike side that comes out whenever I get in new supplies from my suppliers and also when I'm trying and testing new product and it's just so fun for me. Like it's new every single time. So I can't wait to take you along for the journey. First, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, also, I wanted to mention that today I'm wearing my Tiffany Thinks sweatshirt. Definitely, uh, if you're interested, check out her YouTube channel. She's fighting stage three cancer and she is one of the most brave and inspiring souls that I know and that I think is on this planet. Okay, let's get right into it. So I try my very best not to open uh, things and to save it for the video, but I did end up opening this one box from Direct Colors. This I'm going to show first. I didn't look at these too much because I really wanted to save everything for the video, but I just couldn't resist this one box. Uh, these are colors that I think I'm going to be using on my concrete candles. And I don't think they're showing very well on camera. Let me let me try and see if I can get my light here. Let's see if I can show them a little bit better. They look kind of dark, but this one is like a like a maroon color, like a plum almost. And then I ended up getting this color. I thought maybe for like a fall candle, like a pumpkin spice or something in this color. And then I also got this dark color, kind of like a charcoal almost, uh, when it's mixed with the lighter color concrete, I was thinking. And um, I got all these other ones as well. I got another orange, I got this green. Um, I also got this kind of mustardy uh, kind of color, almost like taupe. Um, and then another one, this one, uh, I forget what this was called, but I feel like I, didn't mean to buy the same one twice, but apparently I did. And this last one is another orange color. It looks kind of similar to this one. So hopefully um, they look different when they're like in the candle vessels. So anyway, um, and I'm also gonna link direct colors down below if you're interested in trying any of these products for your concrete candles. I know they're a really popular company for pigments. Um, I can't stand to, um, I can't stand behind them yet because I haven't tried these products. So the next but... product that I'm gonna be unboxing is from my Wooden Wick supplier. And this is the Wooden Wick Co. I'm gonna cover up the addresses on here. Um, oh no, oh my God, this is not. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do this one right now. This is this is some gourmet tea that I ordered. It doesn't have anything to do with candles. The box I thought I was getting was from the Wooden Wick Co, which is right here, and I'm gonna cover the addresses just for privacy purposes. Um, but this is from the Wooden Wick Co. I'm so excited. These are uh, my candle wicks. I don't have um, like a box opener, so yeah. We're just gonna use scissors for that. They're very sharp scissors though. And uh, these are bulk stock of my Crackling Booster Wicks. I use the .04 series. And these are what I use for, um, let's see, this is the .5 diameter. Yeah, I use these for my tints. Okay, and then I also did go ahead and order a thousand wick clips. And you know, you always have to have these with the wood wicks so that um, they, you know, stay in your container. And then the last thing that I ordered uh, from the Wooden Wick Co. was I got a little bit of a bigger size wick. Um, I don't actually use the 0.75 inch size, but I just thought I would order it in case I ever want to use a bigger vessel. Okay, next up, I'm going to be unboxing a package from Earth Safe Finishes. And I actually went ahead and purchased some more sealer for my concrete jars. And I'm going to get into this product in a future video, but it's a really 
exciting product to me because for a long time, I had been looking for a more natural way to seal my jars. And um, EarthSafe Finishes has a product that I feel really confident in. So I'm gonna be sharing that product with you all in a future video um, on how to use it. But what I ordered, um, let me just show you the invoice. Um, I ordered the varnish, matte varnish for uh, my containers, like for the outside. So Nancy, the owner of this company, recommends the varnish for the outside of your concrete jars. And I did go ahead and try two different finishes. So those were 1865 for the eight ounces. And then I did go ahead and order another uh, preserver and sealer. And now I already own this product and I have been testing it for the last few weeks and have found that it works really, really effectively. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right in here. And also, if you um, order from this company, Nancy is super sweet, so you can always call her. Um, I, I think um, if you just look up EarthSafe Finishes, her phone number is um, very easy to get a hold of and get a person, and she's like the sweetest ever. Um, I talked to her for about a half an hour because I was so excited to finally have found a product that meets my no BS standard to seal my tins with and to seal uh, my concrete jars, which I plan on uh, premiering in 2023. But you're going to see a lot with the concrete vessels because I'm like working on testing and all that stuff now. So these products are definitely going to be uh, tried out in a future video. And again, the varnish is what she recommends for the outside of your concrete vessels. And the preserver and sealer is recommended for the inside. Um, and all of these products are no VOC and non-toxic and they're water-based and they do not contain any heavy metals. So really, really cool. Um, Mod Podge is the product that a lot of us had been using for a long time, but you know, they don't have a lot of the same promises. Um, from what I know of that Nancy's product offers. Okay, um, this next package is from Of The Earth and I got this one from an Etsy shop actually and I'm gonna link her Etsy shop down below in case any of you wanna go ahead and purchase this. Um, but what these are, and I've never even seen these in person, um, <laughs> package is a little bit dirty but that sometimes happens when it goes through the mail and everything. Um, these are, supposed to be paper, pieces of paper that contain seeds in them that you can plant in your garden and they turn into uh, flowers. And I forget which type I ordered. I'm gonna try not to like break this whole thing while I'm opening it. I'm literally, I'm like a five-year-old. I just go right, I dig right in, get so excited. I don't wanna damage the product. Um, so actually, let me just try to open it with my scissors here. So this product is what I was thinking of having for my dust covers on my concrete collection. I'm thinking of doing a concrete collection. Oh my God. Yes, this is so exciting. Oh my God. It looks like handmade paper. These lightweight seed embedded printer safe sheets, and that's also why I got these because I need them to be able to have prints on them. And then I'm gonna cut them out with my Cricut for my dust covers. And I'll show you all how I do that later in a future video. Um, but my goal with these is I'm gonna come out with this collection of concrete candles in 2023. And these are gonna be, it's gonna be all about like the opposite of my Wanderlust collection, which is all cosmopolitan and elaborate and, you know, fancy. And this collection is gonna be really down to earth and almost in a rural sense, like a pastoral sense, like out in a field and the sun setting and just beautiful simplicity. And I'm gonna call it the rustic collection. And these are what I want to use for my dust covers. So I'll let you all know how this works out, but I'm so excited so far. So we have a few more 
Uh, we already did this package. And okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and open. Um, well, I, I'll save that one for last. Okay, so this is another one that I just couldn't wait, guys. I, I am trying to wait for the camera and I'm gonna get better in the future. This I ordered on Amazon and this is actually edible, but these are gold leaves and they're 24 karat gold. And I wanted to use these on my wood wick candles in my Wanderlust collection. Okay, let me get you one of the candles so you can see kind of what I'm thinking here. So here's one of my candles and this one is Cape Town here. And this is what it looks like. And so what I was gonna do was put the gold leafing on the top of my candle. And I think it will just look so beautiful. Let me show you all what these look like. They're really fragile. And by the way, I got the idea to do this um, from the candle romance channel that um, Michael Aponte, I believe his last name is, runs. So I'm gonna link his YouTube channel down below um, because I did get the idea to do this from him. And you can get these on Amazon though. And they are kind of expensive, but I mean, it is 24 karat gold. So anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'll do a future video on how I test these out for my candle line um, and how I'm gonna apply them. Okay, last but not least, <laughs> these are some gourmet teas that one of my followers uh, and one of our Crystal family members on Instagram recommended to me. And um, these are, I believe they're from a company like out east, I wanna say. Um, let me check here. Oh, I should, Harney and Sons. And I ordered their Paris tea. She actually gave me some samples of this for Christmas in this adorable mug. And um, I had to go back and order more. It was such a unique tasting tea. Um, okay, so here's what I have. I did go ahead and order a lot um, of the Paris and then I did go ahead and order some English breakfast tea as well. I've never tried the English breakfast, but the Paris, this stuff is gold. Like if you're into gourmet teas, this stuff is amazing. Um, this is a black tea, but it also, it looks like it does contain oolong as well as vanilla, black currant, and caramel flavors with bergamot oil. This stuff. Mm. And then this is the English breakfast tea that I did also go ahead and order. And then they, it looks like they also included some samples. Uh, I don't know why they gave me this because I already bought two of these. Um, and then also one of these organic green um, tea samples. So I'll let you know how these new ones taste, but this Paris right here is a win. Well, that's all for today's video. Definitely let me know in the comment section if you enjoy this type of video. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Um, and that'll let me know to film more videos like this. Um, and I hope that you all have an absolutely beautiful week. I send everyone peace, love, and light, and happy candle making.